Part 50, Substitution in Formula. You will find this on page 122 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Substitution in Formula or Equations. A formula is an equation that gives the relationship between certain quantities. A is area, B units the base and H units the height of a triangle. Therefore, A equals half base times height square units, giving the relationship between A, B and H. If two of the quantities are known, the third can be calculated. Let's look at an example. An article costs Y dollars and it's sold for X dollars. Write down a formula for the profit V. So the profit well, then the selling price will be bigger than the purchase or the cost price. So it's the selling price minus the purchase price. So it will be X minus Y Namibian dollar. The loss, then the selling price will be smaller than the purchase price. So the purchase price minus the selling price. So Y minus X Namibian dollar. The percentage profit, percentage profit will be the profit over the purchase price multiply 100%. So that profit over the purchase price, the cost price, multiply 100%. Now, an article costs 40 Namibian dollar and is sold for 50 Namibian dollar. Use the formula and find the profit. So W, it will be 50 minus 40 because it's this, there's a profit, and that will give me 10 Namibian dollar profit. So the percentage profit, I will just put in this one, put in your profit, put it over the purchase price, multiply 100%, and that gives me an answer of 25%. Okay, I want you, I want you to do try now 24 number 2, number A and B. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So try now 24. Okay, let's start. Number 2A. Corn costs X Namibian dollar per bag and is sold at a profit of A percent. So it's, it's like it's increased with A percent. Now, can you remember how did we do increase with a percentage? We were taking the percentage, say it was 4 percent, then we were putting it over 100, then we multiply it with, with the value, the, the cost price. And then if we increase, we were taking this and we were adding it to, to the cost price. So this is basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to, to find S. I will take the percentage, that's A, and I will put it over 100 because it's percentage. Then I will multiply it with that X Namibian dollar. And then after that, I will increase it so with that same amount with X. So if I put it over 1, so A times X is AX, 100 times 1 is over 100 plus X. Okay, so that is my formula for the increase. So if I say to you, find, okay, write down a formula that gives the selling price. Okay, so that will be the selling price. So find S if, okay, this is number B. Um, if X is 8 and A is so S is equal to AX over 100 plus X. So that will be 5, 8 over 100, and I will add X, which is 8, and that will give me an answer of 8.40 Namibian dollar. Okay. So if I'm asking you, this was the first one, this was the first one. So if I'm asking you the second one, let's just make space for the second one. Okay, so this will be number B, the second one. So now X is just 12. So can you see how helpful is the formula? Because I can just do substitution. So I take the formula for that selling price. So in the place, so it's 2.5, and I multiply it by 12, and I divide by 100, and I plus that 12 again. And if I do that, I will come to an answer of 12.30. That, that will be my selling price. 
Okay, let's go through example 25. A room is A meters long and B meters wide. Run on a formula for the perimeter of the room. So that's a rectangle. So the perimeter is 2 length plus 2 breadth. So it's 2A plus 2B. Find A if B is 20 and B is 2. So just substitute in the place of B 20, in the place of B 2, and I'm going to find A. So just solve the linear equation. Subtract 4 on both sides, divide by 2, and the value of A will be 8. Okay. I want you to do try now 25 number A as well as number B. Again, you can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. So we are at try now 25. Now in 1987, the tariff for sending a telegram, that's what we were, we were not sending emails, we were sending telegrams, was costing five Namibian dollar for the first 10 words, plus 50 cent for each additional word, plus a handling cost of 10 Namibian dollar per telegram. Okay. So let's start. Number A. Find the formula given the tariff T of a telegram with N words where N is bigger than 10. Okay, so it's bigger than 10. So to find that cost, it's going to be the 10 handling fee plus every word is 50 cents. But if I make it dollar, it's 0 0.5 dollar. So it's 0 0.5 multiply the number of words and the number of words over there is a multiply is N. Okay, so what is the formula? It's 10 plus 0.5 N. And then number B, let's just make it another color. Find T if N is 150. Now I'm just going to substitute in the formula. First write down the formula and then just substitute. And then substitute that 150 words. And if I multiply that, I will get an answer of N is 85, and that will be the cost of sending that telegram. 